Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, One Pizza Too Many. Now today we're going to be using the new Ninja Smart Screen Blender that I've just done an unboxing video on. And we're going to be using some cooked bacon to make a bacon aise. So first of all we're going to make a fresh mayonnaise, then we're going to add the bacon and some other bits and pieces to it. So first of all, let's have a look what ingredients we need and then I'll bring you a bit closer. So we have 250 ml of vegetable oil. We're going to use one tablespoon of white wine vinegar. We have a teaspoon of Dijon mustard and two egg yolks that have been split from the white. And then we have bacon that's already been pre-cooked, chipotle chili powder and salt and pepper. And just at the back we have some water just in case we need it when we're bringing the mayonnaise together. Now one thing to remember when we're making a mayonnaise or a fresh mayonnaise especially is it's something called a cold emulsification. So we are going to emulsify the vinegar and the mustard with the oil and that needs so they shouldn't naturally go together they should end up splitting so we need something to emulsify those together which is where the egg yolk comes in so that binds the fat particles and that's what produces that sort of creaminess to the mayonnaise so first thing is first what we are going to do um so this is steamed up so just rinse this out because it was new we are going to add our two egg yolks into the blender and we are going to add in the mustard you can use any mustard you like but Dijon is the sort of traditional preferred mustard okay I'm just going to add a little grind of salt at this stage then what we are going to do is we're going to put the lid on and you'll see the little on button and press that and all the different settings come up for this particular bowl the food processing bowl so what we're going to do we're going to put it on low and that is just to mix the egg and the mustard together to start with okay then what we're going to do is we're just going to put to start with just a couple of drops of oil to do is we're going to take off the top little food pusher okay, and we're going to slowly coming together now so we can keep going
can see it now starting to emulsify and come together. We're just going to keep going. Spoon of water, and we're going to go on again. going to push this, this the mayonnaise down from near the top just so it gets blended in okay and then at the same time I'm just going to add I'm going to go with half a t half a spoon to start with of the must um, sorry not the mustard the uh, vinegar see now we've got a nice looking thick consistency mayonnaise so to this we're going to add a touch of pepper a little bit of salt a pinch of chipotle I'll clean that lid and then we have the cooked bacon which we are Gonna crumble up just to help it out a little bit. Okay. And then the lid back on, and then we're gonna unload again. Stop it. Go back in. Just push all that bacon down.
one last go. Okay, and there we have it. We've not used all the oil because I think the consistency that we've got there is good. And oddly enough, if you keep adding oil, you will actually end up with a thicker consistency. So let's have a little look. I'm just going to take the blade out. sun's coming out just to finish marvellous okay put the blades back in and the lid back on okay and then you'll see freshly made mayonnaise or bacon -aise. So there we have it, bacon A's, let's have a little, obviously you don't want too much but, it's nice with the little, little chunks of bacon in it, spiciness from the chipotle chilli, creaminess from the, obviously the emulsification of the eggs and the oil and the vinegar, so yeah, it's there. Uh, very nice so we're going to use this on some burgers that we're going to do on the Kamado with some chips in the foodie so join us in the next few days for those videos so make sure you head over to our Facebook page at one pizza too many for all the in-between news pictures and information and make sure you hit the bell to subscribe comment share and like obviously make sure you comment with what you'd put this with would you uh, do it as a side dip would you do do it any differently here yeah. have you got a recipe that works well let me know and until next time i'll see you again one pizza too many